Joan Alco and thank you so much for stopping by so in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this super cute skirt it has this macrame vibe and the pattern is super simple and beginner friendly and this skirt is perfect for a beach cover-up or a festival wear and before we begin on making the skirt kindly hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification as well i normally upload videos each and every week and i'll be super glad if you join this family because i'm sure you don't want to miss out on more interesting videos that are yet to come and also make sure you follow me on social media or instagram my handle is called bioco you can find that link on the bio and yeah so let's get started for the materials i'll be using this yarn over here and it's called winter king it's a four play yarn and it's machine washable it's made in kenya and it's 100 percent acrylic yarn and it's 50 gram in color white and you'll also need a three millimeter crochet hook you can actually use any medium weight yarn or any yarn of your choice as long as it's not chunky unless maybe you want to achieve a chunky feel of a skirt and you also need an elastic band in this case i'm going to use this tiny elastic band to fit on the waist and you also need a tape measure to help you in measuring your size and you need a tapestry needle to weave in your ends once you're done with your work and of course you need you need scissor to cut off your ends yep to begin, make a slip knot and make sure you leave out a long tail to help you weave in your work once you're done. And then you're going to make a number of chains that is a multiple of four plus one. And the number of chains you're going to make, uh, it's going to be your hip size. So chain, make chains that is equivalent to your hip size and make sure you're going to chain them loosely because we are going to work through the back loop when making our first foundation our first row so make your foundation chains a bit loose and make sure they are in a multiple of four plus one so for instance you could chain 20 plus one that's 21 or 30 plus 1 that's 31 yeah something like that but it should accommodate your hip size so i have my 73 chain foundations and this can accommodate uh, 39 to 40 hips and then the next thing I'm going to do is to join the two sides together and to do that stretch your work on one side to avoid it getting twisted along the way just stretch it stretch it and then onto this other side you are going to make a slip stitch into the first Sorry. Now make a slip stitch into the first stitch. And close the circle. After making the slip stitch, confirm again if your foundation chain is not twisted. And then after that, now we're going to start 
working on our first row to begin on your first row chain two and then we're going to start working through the back loops on these lumps over here and we're going to use a half double crochet stitch so yarn over go inside the back loop pull through you should be having three loops and now yarn over and pull through all those loops together yarn over again go into the next back loop pull through and then yarn over and pull through the three loops together now you have a half double crochet and that's going to be the pattern until you complete the row making half double crochet in each and every stitch like that remember these are the back loops that i'm talking about so complete the row and i'm going to meet you at this other side and show you what to do so one stitch left and then to close the row I'm going to use a slip stitch going to the first chain two stitch that you made and close the row using a slip stitch like that and then to begin on the next row you're going to chain two the chain two acts as your first stitch and then I'm going to yarn over and go inside this space over here let me adjust my camera this space over here in the same stitch in the same chain two stitch over here you're going to make your first single crochet sorry half double crochet I'm getting a bit confused and also I said the chain two acts as your first stitch no the chain two doesn't count as your first stitch the first stitch is this half double crochet that you've made now you're going to go ahead and make half double crochet in each and every stitch until you complete the row I'm almost at the end of the row two stitches left and also this this is a stitch and then to complete the row I'm going to go inside the half double crochet we made to make a slip stitch remember the chain two doesn't count as a stitch so make a slip, slip stitch like that to close the row and then to begin on the next row chain two the chain two does it doesn't uh, count as a stitch so inside the same same stitch you're going to make your first half double crochet and this is going to be my last row and then go ahead and make half double crochet in each and every stitch and then when you get towards this side you're going to slip stitch to close the row so this is actually my waistband and I'll just use three rows of half double crochet to accommodate my waistband
by the way if you don't have an elastic band to fix on your waist you can actually consider making your waist using the front post back post to give it a nice ribbed effect so with that you can actually consider just making your first row of half double crochet and then from there make the body part and then once you're done you're going to attach your yarn on top and then start making your front post back post to make your waistband and then after that you're going to use a drawstring and insert it into the waistband and adjust it to your sizing for a perfect fit to complete the row make a slip stitch into the first half double crochet you made and close the row so so far you have a waistband made so the next thing we're going to do is to start working on the body parts now let's start working on the down part you're going to chain one and then in the same stitch you're going to make a single crochet and then at this point now you're going to pull your yarn like that about half an inch and then you're going to hold this point and then you're going to yarn over and pull through make sure you don't tighten this other loop and then inside this space go back again and make a single crochet and that's going to be your first loop to do that again pull your yarn make sure you pull you are consistent with uh, the length of the yarn you're pulling so I'm pulling around half an inch and then I'm going to hold the single crochet part like the middle point here and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through and then go back in the same don't tighten this loop go back in the same loops I mean in between these loops and make another single crochet so you should be having two love knots like that of which this other side it has two strings and then on this other side it's one so once you have your two love knots you're going to skip three stitches and then into the fourth one you're going to make a single crochet so skip one two three and then into the fourth one make a single crochet and then you're going to repeat what we did here pull your string again up about half an inch but you can also pull up to an inch the way you want your loops to appear and then hold this middle part over here and pull through the yarn and then go back inside the same stitch and now make a single crochet like that pull about half an inch again and then pull through the yarn and then go back in the same in the middle point i mean in into the circle and make a single crochet like that once you have your two love knots you're going to skip three one two three and then into the fourth one make a single crochet okay let's repeat that again pull your yarn about half an inch remember the rule is be consistent on how you are pulling your loops otherwise you're going to end up with a funny <laughs> a funny skirt so once you've pulled about half an inch hold the middle point and then pull through the hook 
go side inside the loop you've just created and make a single crochet and then you're going to repeat the same thing again pull through about half an inch and then hold the middle point pull through and then go inside the loop you've just created and make a single crochet and then you're going to skip three one two three and then into the fourth stitch make a single crochet so this is going to be the pattern until you complete the row now go ahead and repeat the same thing complete the row and then i'll meet you at this point so this is my final notes and i'm going to go into after skipping three into the fourth one i'm going to make a single crochet and then to close the row i'm going to go inside this first single crochet we made and i'm going to make a slip stitch there and so our first row is completed this is how it looks like it's more of a, a v if you pull these strings upwards so now let's begin on the next row so to do that pull your yarn again the same height you've been doing before and make your first knot pull again and make your second knot and then you're going to go into this middle point this one basically it's this single crochet over here and then you're going to make a single crochet on top of that single crochet like that and then pull your yarn again and make your first knot pull your yarn again and make your second knot and then go into this middle center point not this one over here but this one and make a single crochet on top of that single crochet so remember the rule is maintain the height of your stitches when pulling it up so repeat the same thing again pull the yarn and make your first knot pull the yarn again and make your second knot and then inside the middle point this one when you pull your your yarn up not this one over here but this one make a single crochet on top of that single crochet so this is going to be our pattern until you complete the row just pull your yarn up make your first knot pull again and make your second knot and then go on to this part and on top of that single crochet make a single crochet so this is what you should be having if you pull your work up it's like we're making a v shape so now go ahead and complete the row repeating the same thing i've shown you here and then i'll meet you at the end of this row so one stitch left over here and then i close the row so just pull through and make your single crochet make a second knot pull through make your second single crochet and then go into this middle point and make your single crochet like that so at this point i'm not going to go into this stitch and make a slip stitch rather i'm just going to start my next row and to do that i'm just going to pull through and make my first knot pull through again and make the second knot and then i'm just 
I'm going to go into this other side and in this knot I'm going to make a single crochet. And then I'm going to pull through so that means I've already closed on this row it's on the same level right now so pull through again and make your first note pull through again and make your second note and then go into this this peak over here remember you are ignoring this down one the one that is going towards the down part you ignore this one and then the one popping upwards this is the part where you're going to make your single crochet chain uh, pull through pull it up and make your first note pull it up again and make your second note and then remember you're ignoring this one over here and into this one you're going to make a note a single crochet So this is going to be the pattern until you complete the row, making your first note, your second note, and then going into this point and make your single crochet. Now go ahead and complete the row and I'll meet you at the starting point, which is this point over here. So I'm almost closing on the row and this is my last stitch over here sorry this is my last stitch over here when you pull it up it makes a v you're going to ignore this and make your first love note make your second note again and then into this v stitch you're going to make a single crochet so basically it means we've already closed the row and then to begin on the next row you're going to pull up make your first note pull up again and make your second note and then the V stitch over here when you pull it up this is going to be your beginning stitch and make a single crochet inside that space like that so basically this is going to be the pattern until you get the height of your skirt so now go ahead and repeat the same thing we've been doing over and over again until you get your height size and this is how the pattern looks like when you stretch it downward it makes a more of v stitch or is it a diamond yeah it's diamond and also it's a v stitch so go ahead and make the number of rows that you need and then i'll meet you at that point one ball of yarn down and this is what I have so far. At this point, I'm just checking up on you to see if you have something like this. So your pattern should look this way. Let me just get up close. This is what you should be having so far. And I think I'll go ahead and add an extra ball of yarn still repeating the same pattern that i showed you before nothing has changed i'm just increasing the height as i go so yeah i think i'll meet you once i have my desired skirt length so the second ball of yarn down and i think at this point i'm satisfied with the height of my skirt and it's let me just measure that uh, the height of my skirt is 17 inches and at this point 
I'm going to add tassels on the bottom part of my skirt but if you don't want to fix the tassels and you need like a body hugging skirt uh, I'll show you how to reduce the circumference of this down part over here and so far this is how the pattern looks like this is how it looks like and if you're fix if you're fixing the tassels it means that they're going to pull your skirt down so you don't need to reduce the circumference of your skirt you can actually leave it that way and that's what i'm going to do so if you feel that you need to reduce the circumference of your skirt, this is how you're going to make the reduction. So remember we were uh, pulling up half an inch. So pull half of that more of a loosely chain. So once you've done that, repeat the same thing. Make your first loop, your first knot I mean, and then pull up a bit just a little bit and make your second knot and then go on to this part where you're going to make your single crochet actually it's the same thing you've been doing just that now you're reducing the height of the yarn you're pulling up so when you pull up again make sure it's almost it's like half of what you're pulling up previously and make your sing, uh, single crochet there pull up again just a little bit and make another knot and then single crochet on top of that part pull up a little bit again make your first knot pull up again make your second knot and make a single crochet so if you go ahead and complete the row, you'll notice that you've reduced the circumference of your work. It's leveling up. Instead of being loose, it's actually tighter. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So for me, I'm just going to reduce it. So I was just doing that to show you. At this point, I'm done. And this was my last stitch and to complete the row instead of making a single crochet sorry instead of making a single crochet I'm going to make a slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one and cut off the yarn and since I'm going to make tassels on the bottom part I'm going to leave a long tail and it's going to act as my tassel instead of cutting off a small chain and then you're going to end up weaving in your ends and this pattern is not friendly while weaving in your ends as you can see because it's quite spaced out then from there just pull your string and tighten it off now the next thing we're going to do is to fix the tassels on the bottom part of your skirt to fix these tassels i'm going to take two strands of yarn like this and after cutting them I'm going to divide it into two and then onto this other side I'm going to go directly into the single crochet space so you see we have a single crochet over here and I'm going to go into that single crochet and then I'm going to grab this other side of the tassel and I'm going to pull through once I have a loop uh, you can actually use your hook or you can insert your finger and pull through the strands and then tighten it off like this. So now go ahead and make your tassels in the single crochet.
make a tassel in the single crochet make a tassel so it actually depends on how you want your tassels to be spaced out you can actually consider spacing out by skipping the single crochet make a tassel over here so it all depends on you so now let's work on the waist and this is the part where we're going to fix our elastic band and before we fix the elastic band take your yarn and attach it using a single crochet this is how i normally attach my yarn and then you're going to work uh, to make plain rows plain row of single crochet all around in each and every stitch at this point you're not fixing the elastic band yet we are going to make this first row of single crochet and then on the next row that's where we are going to fix our elastic band i'm at the end of the single crochet row and i'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that i made to close that row and then to begin on the next row this is the row where we're going to fix our elastic band and i'm going to use this thin elastic and to fix it you're going to grab one end so we grab one end of the elastic of the elastic band and make sure you leave a long tail and then we're going to single crochet on top of it so once you have your elastic band at the back and you have uh, after slip stitching chain one and this chain one is going to act as your first single crochet and then into the next stitch make a single crochet so basically what you're going to do is crocheting this elastic band inside like this just crocheting on top of it and i'm going to crochet like 10 times or you can do that five times And then you're going to hold this uh, beginning of your row and hold it tightly and then you're going to take this other side of elastic and pull it move stretching it do that moderately so that you don't end up stretching too much or stretching loosely again single crochet like five times or ten times Remember you are still single crocheting on this elastic as well and then once you have your 5 or 10 single crochet hold the last point where you last stretched and hold it firmly and pull your elastic band. So this is what you are going to do until you complete the row just making a number of single crochets. And pulling your elastic band I'm going to hold the last time I uh, from the starting point of where I made those single crochets and just pull the elastic band as you can see your waist is already being reduced but at the same time it's stretchy so go ahead and complete the row doing the same thing and at, i'll meet you at the end of the row So I'm at the end of this row and to complete the row I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that I made and then I'm going to chain one and cut off the yarn and then tighten it off. And so this is what I have. 
my waist has been reduced and at the same time it can stretch to accommodate my hips so now cut off this elastic thread and you're going to tie the two sides together to secure it properly so I'm going to tie it twice and then take a small needle and we're going to weave in this elastic through the needle once you have your elastic through the needle you're just going to weave it in like that and then you're going to cut this off so now go ahead and weave this other side and also weave in all your ends and yeah you're done so my skirt is finally completed and this is what i have thank you so much for watching until the end kindly subscribe to my youtube channel before you log out and hit the bell notification so each and every time i upload a new video you'll be getting notified and i feel so happy when you tag me on your final work so on the description box there is my instagram handle so click on that and feel free to tag me on your piece so until next time goodbye